what's up y'all it's your boy dnm2 cool south african geek welcome to my channel let's talk about dc's legends of tomorrow season four premiere I'm only gonna cover the premieres then probably the main season finale then do a reaction of the finale finale with all the errors just making it out there if you check my other premiere reviews and see that i'm not doing this weekly anyway it was a phenomenal premiere hilarious as hell like classic dc legend style it's its own identity in the arrowverse i love that um what else can i say nate's family dynamic was interesting mick and nate had the most hilarious moment when mick was seeing his pet rat and nate was seeing his dad and they hugged that was the best moment when they all high it was just phenomenal <laughs> Uh, Constantine is a great addition and they finally gave Constantine the abilities to show those Doctor Strange thingy mobs that are originally his <laughs> you know what I'm saying I was so excited when I saw that even in the title sequence I was like are they giving him the uh, the animation what is it called Constantine the city of demons I was so excited Sarah and the relationship with that girl from the time bureau is actually interesting they did that classic season four every first thing where everybody's phenomenally happy everything is good you know what i'm saying then something bad happens i hope it doesn't fall into the curse but it's distancing itself from the rest of the arrowverse so it's probably a good thing or a bad thing but it's its own show like it's its own gem so i i highly doubt it's gonna be caught in the web but it did have some things that made me go oh Ray Palmer, still a character I want them to develop more and make his character interesting because I felt like he was more interesting in Arrow now if he's just that good hearted dude he was more complex than just that good hearted dude maybe uh, Nora Dark will make him more complex again uh, everybody else is phenomenal they talked about Wally leaving also there any other highlights of this episode? The unicorn was hilarious. <laughs> Gary, the version, I think the episode was called. Uh, this show is, is funny. 8 out of 10. Like, I look forward to watching the rest of the season. It never disappoints in the humor. And being out there, they're like, even visiting past parts of history, the budget for the show must be nice. Like, the less episodes, you know what I'm saying? Like, the less episode counting, probably that gives them more budget to do these amazing things, which I'm grateful for, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, Deuce.